Hey guys, Evan1994 here, and welcome to Mod Monday Episode 3. And this week we're going to be covering the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders mod. And this mod is a GLSL Shaders mod. And it's actually like a, a mod of a mod, I think you could say. Um, it's like, it, it was based off the GLSL Shaders mod, which has been around for quite a while. Um, and basically this mod adds a whole new like dynamic shadowing uh, effect to the game. Uh, it adds motion blur it adds uh, everything pretty much uh, <laughs> everything graphical uh, that's really nice <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying um, but yeah it adds a whole new shadowing uh, dynamic lighting all that sort of thing so uh, let's get into this mod and yeah all right so let's check out this mod and uh, so we are going to go into our new mod Monday world which is actually Quite a bit better and we actually have land not just an ocean um so here we go so this mod is uh, all about graphics it's all about uh shading and lighting um adjustments and everything so as you can see there's like dynamic shadows you can see my shadow actually so it corresponds with where the sun is of course so where if the sun was like up there then you know then there would be a straight down shadow on me it wouldn't it, it changes you know what i'm saying uh so geez um and of course i have a shadow so that's something completely new there's no shadowing normally for my body and i just heard a wolf hello wolf uh we are going to give you a bone where are the bones god damn it um bone there give me that bone where'd it go get over here i want you i want you i want you stop moving there all right now we got a wolf okay um so anyway yeah so uh we need sunlight there's no area where we can look at this god okay let's go to creative and we are going to go somewhere where we can see shadows here we go. This seems like a good spot. There's too many trees over in this area. What the hell? Hi. So, the sun is moving freaking fast. How is it already nighttime? Okay. Uh, yeah, let's set it to sunrise. Actually, let's set it to noon. So, there we go. This is a lot better. Okay, so as you can see, my, uh, my shadow, well, it's actually right on top of me now. But you can see my shadow actually holds things and it actually does the actions that I'm doing. So look down there and you can see. So it actually looks like I'm holding things. And when you change your objects, it actually changes. So that's kind of cool, I thought. And uh, yeah, this I don't know if I already said it, but this mod is extremely graphical intensive. I'm running at like 18 frames per second right now. But keep in mind that's with me using fraps and I'm also rendering a Skyrim video right now. So uh, if you haven't already checked it out, uh, I'm doing a Skyrim Let's Play on my channel and I upload like every day. Uh, it doesn't seem to get many views though, I'm not sure why. Uh, but anyway, so um, that's besides the point. So another thing with this mod is uh, the uh, objects like wheat, uh, grass, and leaves, they actually move. Now, the leaves look a little strange, I'm not going to lie. Like, okay, you got to calm down. Stay still, buddy. Um, they look a little weird. It looks like jelly. But uh, it's kind of cool that it adds like this kind of dynamic, uh, realistic feeling. Uh, there's a little too much wind, I think. <laughs> um, I don't think they'd be moving like crazy that much. But yeah, so you get the point. So it's pretty neat. Uh, cool little mod. So before anyone asks, I'm going to go into both the nether and the end for this video. So we're in the nether. All right. And let's just lo load up the shadows and everything. And we're going to get a diamond sword so that we can fight these guys. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, so it doesn't look that great in the nether. I'm not going to lie. And when you hit these guys, they kind of go really dark. So that needs some improving. And these guys need to calm the hell down and sit down. Okay. So yeah, it needs improving. That's all I'm going to say, really. Uh, the lighting isn't that great down here. 
and they're not really dynamic, and there's no shadows and stuff. And I died. <laughs> okay, so yeah, uh, now let's check out the end. Alright, here we go. Into the end. And, wow, this is a very interesting place to spawn into the end. Alright, let's go to creative. Um, what the hell? Am I really boxed in to, like, obsidian? Alright, that's a very strange place to spawn. I guess I was under this. So, yeah, here we go. This is the end. Um, I have my shadow still. Uh, there's a few shadows, but there's no central, like, sun. So, uh, the shadows aren't that great completely. Oh, my God. That, hello. I'm going to kill you. I've never killed the dragon yet. I haven't even been to the end, really. Um, but there is some shadows, a little bit. Uh, and these guys actually have dynamic shadows, too. Unlike the pigs. Pigs don't have shadows. Hello. I'm gonna go crazy on them. Now they're gonna follow me. Come on, come on. There you go. You're smart. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello, dragon. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Uh, the shadows do look pretty cool, though. Um, if you're looking on the side here, there's some dynamic shadowing. So yeah, there you go. Okay, so that is really that's that's all there is to this mod. I mean, there's not much more I can really show you. It's uh, it's a really cool mod, though. Um, but you know, there's not a whole lot to show you. It's just all visuals, and I pretty much showed you everything. So next week we're gonna have a more uh, more like interactive mod with uh, new items and blocks and everything like that. Uh, I just wanted to show this mod. It's been on my mind for the last couple weeks, and uh, I wasn't sure if I should do it or not. But there we go. I did it. So uh, now I'm gonna show you how to install it. It's extremely extremely easy. You should not have any issues. All you do is press a button or click download and then press a button so uh so you shouldn't have any problem with that but uh if uh, if you're not interested in watching the tutorial uh then thanks for watching and uh i hope you enjoyed and if you did leave a rating and now on to the tutorial Okay, now on to the easiest tutorial you'll ever see from me. Uh, you're going to want to click the link in the description, which will take you to this thread. And this is the thread for Sonic Ethers, Unbelievable Shaders, version 1.2.3. Uh, well, at least right now it's only at 1.2.3, but uh, just make sure that you check to see if it's updated to the right version of Minecraft. Because in the future I always get comments uh, like... Oh, hey, you're doing this on blah, blah, blah version, and now it's blah, blah, blah version. <laughs> you know, like, okay, so anyway, you're going to want to scroll down to where it says download for Windows or whatever you have. Um, it's probably the same, actually, for both uh, Mac and Windows. So you're going to want to download that. Just click on the download or whatever. I already have it downloaded, so it's on my desktop here. So you're going to get this uh, RAR file, and if you don't have WinRAR, get it. Uh, I'll have a link to that in the description. So open that up. Um, oh, make sure that you go on your Minecraft options, force update. So once you have your Minecraft updated, you will want to uh, open up the Sonic Ethers um, Unbelievable Shaders and then click the installer and then simply install the mods. And there you go, it's installed, so uh, yeah, that's pretty easy. And uh, well, that's about it guys, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a rating and I'm out, peace.